All right, in this video cheat sheet, we're going to be configuring a BGP router ID on router 1. First, we're going to start off with the baseline show command of show IP BGP to, to see what kind of output we get uh, at this stage of our video cheat sheets. And then we're going to enable the debug command debug IP BGP events so that we can see what process the router goes through once we hard code the BGP router ID. And then we're going to finish up with some verification show commands. We're going to do show IP BGP again to see if anything's changed from the baseline show command and then look at the running config to see how it's changed once we've hard coded the router ID. So let's take a look at the network topology. We're going to be hard coding the router ID here on router 1. It's already been done on the other routers but we're just focusing here on router 1 in this video cheat sheet. Alright let's start off with the show IP BGP command to see what kind of output we get and we don't have any output because this is just the second lesson in this video cheat sheet series as we're walking through it from the previous lesson we enabled the BGP routing process here on router 1 and we saw that it went from not being enabled BGP that is to now being enabled but we don't have any output yet so let's turn on debugging with a debug IP BGP events so we can see debugging is on and now we're going to hard code our router ID to the loopback 0 address of 1.1.1.1. Now you can choose um, other interfaces. I would highly recommend that you choose the management interface, which is usually a loopback interface, because the loopback interface will always be up as long as the router's up, and so it gives it a good anchor point, a, a good router ID that will only go down when the router itself goes down. We already getting some output here from our BGP events. So let's see how it changes when I put in the router ID and see what we get. It says right here that BGP reset all neighbors, which we don't have any yet, but this is what it would do. It reset all neighbors due to router ID changed. So we hard coded the router ID so it would reset. If it did have any peers, it would have reset all the BGP peers. So I'm going to go ahead. We saw that that command took. We see that the router acknowledged that it took. So I'm going to turn debugging off. Now let's do our verification show command of show IP BGP. See if anything has changed from before. And no, it hasn't. We still don't have anything. We know the command took because of the debug that we ran and it reset due to router ID changed. So we, we know that that took. Let's look at what the running config looks like now. And as you can see uh, from before we had those three default commands that uh, were, were put there when we enabled the BGP process of no sync and log neighbor changes and no auto summary but now here on router 1 we also have our BGP router ID of 1.1.1.1 which once again is the loopback 0 address so that is how you hard code a BGP router ID once again we did the baseline show commands of show IP BGP which there wasn't any output there even though it was enabled we enabled the debug IP BGP events command so that we could see the events unfold as we hard coded the BGP router ID and then we finished up with some verification show commands show IP BGP once again did not get any output yet maybe one in one of these video cheat sheets we will but we did see once again in the debug that the adjacencies reset because of the router ID change so we know the command took and then we also verify that it was there in the show running config. So that is how you hard code a BGP router ID.